All right, welcome back to Menace Armament Channel. This in front of me right here is the 475 Bishop. It is, it shoots this round right here. Now, this is the same rifle that Battlebox shot, and you can see those videos, and there's actually quite a few videos of people shooting this gun at, at uh, SHOT Show Range Day. So this is it right here in front of me. Now right here, this is a 390 grain bullet, moving 2400 feet per second, about 5,000 foot-pounds of muzzle energy. So there's a few different types. This one's a solid copper round, a lot better for the penetration side. And for comparison, that's a 308. So as you can see, a little bit of a difference here. And this is a 300. WSM Big difference between these rounds and these right here, but as you can tell length wise They are about the same across the board Now this is the biggest AR-10 that you can get now it means a standard this is a standard Gibbs side charging upper standard lower that we mill in-house standard wise other than the buffer system, some modifications we have to do on the inside, mainly for feeding and ejecting, things of that nature. And of course, we have our custom barrels here. Now, this 4547 actually technically is that 408 Shy Tech I kept seeing comments about um, on the Battle Box video. Didn't know what it was, but that's the case overall length. There is no way that's fitting in an AR-10. So, just wanted to point that out that those are not AR-10s, are also known, actually technically what it is, LR-308, but everybody calls it an AR-10 even though that is technically a different platform, but that's what everybody knows it as. For example, this over here is a 338 Lapua as well. I am gonna pop this out, actually I've got this right here. This is bottom metal for it. So this is the magazine. Good example of the magazine right there for the 338 Lapua. This is a 475 magazine that fits into the actual standard AR-10. So when we say it's the most powerful AR-10, that's what we're talking about, not AR in general. So just wanted to kind of give an example of what we got here. Um, the muzzle brake and our heavy buffing system actually does help a lot with the recoil, so it's not too bad to shoot overall, but it it does have a kick. So if you need to kill something really big or even uh, maybe take down a tree or something, you can with this. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.